hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper today is Monday and each Monday I try to show you what I sold on eBay over the weekend as well as other platforms so we have about nine hundred and twenty dollars going out on eBay which is a little bit below our average we sold less than a hundred dollars on Saturday which is very very low for us and then we also have about a hundred and fifty dollars going out on Facebook one really really good Etsy sale and and a couple on Poshmark so I'm gonna show you right now all right so first up is a Harley pin it's actually one that's damaged and the pin broke off so don't think if you have broken items that they won't sell they will you just have to lower that price to compensate the buyer for the fact that it's broken so this one is Jones Harley Davidson this one sold for $8.77 it has no pen but if somebody's going to use this on a display board or even like a scrapbook this would be perfect because they can just glue it onto their board or their scrapbook and it doesn't need to be penned onto like a jacket vest or hat but again you do have to make sure to point that out I put it in my title it was damaged as well as putting it in the description next is a giant Santa he's not super giant but he is about 18 inches so he is unbranded here he is up close he actually he's 28 inches I just looked at my listing so he's unbranded he was on a cart lot which I bought off of high bid I got it mainly for the ornaments but when I have something like that I want to try and get some money so I had him listed at $50 somebody sent me an offer of 40 because they said the shipping was high which the shipping is high because he's big so he is an oversized package and he is going to cost a bit more to ship so I accepted that offer he sold for $40 in less than a month the buyer paid $26.80 in shipping and they are in Florida so if you have oversized packages it make sure to remember to put in the correct dimensions for the box so you don't lose money on the shipping and then speaking of ornaments that were on that cart this one here is a Gordon crystal porcelain dub this one sold for $17.54 the ornaments I'm about a dollar in to each one because I bought the whole cart for about $200 and I definitely have more than 200 ornaments so that one's going to be about a $14 profit and it sold in under a month as well and the buyer did pay five dollars in shipping up next is an item I just picked up at a yard sale these are actually little Russian Ushka dolls and I picked them up in a bag of stuff for three bucks so I'm actually less than 50 cents in and they sold in under a month for $17.54 making them about a $15 profit. Next is a plastic beaded rosary it's in a bag here it is pretty plain with the white beads this one sold for $18.18 .18. I paid less than a dollar so it's about a $15 profit I like picking up lots of rosaries they don't sell for a ton but they will sell for $12, 15 20 dollars and sometimes you might get lucky and have a special one and a lot of rosaries that is worth quite a bit more I have had some sell upwards of $100 most of those are sterling though but that one's going to be about a $15 profit and the buyer did pay $5 in shipping up next is this cute little beaded necklace it's a little hat and this one sold for $14 I paid about two dollars in an online lot the buyer also played 480 in shipping so it is going to be about a nine dollar profit and then we have a harley ring so i bought this when i bought the rest of the harley stuff i did get harley pens i got some badges some patches and this ring is a sterling ring Let's see if i can flip it it says harley davidson it is a hundred year anniversary ring it is sterling and this ring sold for a hundred hundred and thirty dollars i paid thirty dollars for this so it's about an eighty dollar profit after fees the buyer also bought a harley pen along with this got this harley pen here there you go with the e double eagle and the barn shield logo and together 
they paid $145 plus $5 in shipping. So overall, that is close to a hundred dollar profit and all of that sold in about a month a little over a month for the pin and the ring but still really really fast next this is a bonnie blue biker pin this one sold for six dollars and 49 cents that was in with my harley pin so you can see they're ranging from six dollars on up to almost a hundred dollars for those pins that one is going to be about a four dollar profit up oh, next is an Anna Lee. So I got this one last year. So it did take about a year to sell. It is selling right before 4th of July. So if you do happen to have some 4th of July stuff hanging around, I would definitely list it now. I paid about $5 for this. It sold for $35. So it's going to be about a $25 profit. The buyer did pay $11.75 in shipping. And I am not really, really knowledgeable in Annalise. Some of them can sell for really, really good money. However, I saw a lot of like 20 of them and I figured I can get at least 15 or so each. A lot of them did sell at that $15 price point, but then there are ones like these that sell for more. So that's why I like buying lots because typically if you get a good lot, you're going to have a few items that sell for higher dollar that actually cover the price of the lot. And then you've got a bunch left that is all profit. And that is one of the ways I've been able to build my inventory up. And we are actually almost up to five thousand listings which is absolutely incredible i think i said i want to be at five thousand by the end of june so i am ahead of schedule we are getting all the license plates listed and i'm actually going to show you a couple here in a minute that sold up next is some foot joys so these foot joys sold for 35 dollars in under a day if you do not know watch for that fj these are very, very popular golf shoes. I actually paid $3.99, you can see there. I'm gonna have to mark over that with a marker. And they sold under a day for $35. So these are about a $25 profit and they sold in a day. These actually have been in my death pile over a year. So I'm really, really glad that they finally got listed and they sold in under a day. Next is a Carolyn Pollock ring and I want you to remember kind of this look. I have found several of these. She does a lot of like mixed stones and her rings are all signed with the CP. I'm gonna see if I can get it in here to show you. I don't think I can. It's in here in the back. It's a very very clearly written CP. So watch for Carolyn Pollock because I have found several of her sterling rings that they're listing at sterling price but because they're designed by Carolyn Pollock they sell for a lot more. So this ring sold for $80 plus the buyer paid five in shipping and it is going to be about a $40 profit. I did pay $30 for it but I know that Carolyn Pollock sells well. It sold in about two months. Next is another item that has also been in my death pile a while. This is Jockstrap. If you don't know, Jockstrap sell. And these next few items are really going to show the variety of items that I sell. And I do that because I feel having a variety keeps me having constant sales because one category might not be selling well, but I'm always going to have something in another one. So this Jockstrap is new. I got it at the thrift store for two bucks. It sold for $20 in a day, one day, really fast. Buyer also paid $6.25 in shipping, making this about a $15 profit. And then a license plate, and we do not clean these off. We do leave them as is. This is a 1944 Penna, and I'm about $5 into this. So I did spend $1,000 on almost 2,000 license plates, but those were two separate lots. So in one lot, I only got about 150 plates for $600. This one was in that lot. And I'm hoping that I have some high dollar ones in there. We are just beginning to list them. So I did pay $5 a piece for those. And then I got a big rack with over a thousand for only $300. So the plates on that rack, I only paid about 30 cents. So this one sold for 17. It's going to be about a $10 profit after fees. And the buyer did pay $5.90 in shipping. I have ordered some padded poly mailers. They're not here yet, but when I get a lot of one thing, 
I will order shipping supplies specifically for that. So I ordered padded envelopes that are long and wide enough to fit the license plates. So as soon as those come this week, they will make that shipping the license plates a lot easier. And then we have a water filtered little martini glass. This one sold for $20. I am about a dollar in, so it's gonna be about a $15 profit. All right, next is this really pretty sour egg you can see it's an enamel egg trinket box and it comes with this little matching necklace this one sold for thirty dollars and 72 cents plus the buyer paid five in shipping i paid about eight dollars for that so it's going to be about an 18 dollar profit that one took almost a year to sell now i did get i believe five or six of them in a lot i have one left <laughs> one of those left so they have taken a little while to sell but a few of them sold really fast and then if you do not know this brand, you need to because these sell really fast. And it's actually, it's the brand that I am wearing right now. It is Simply Southern. I personally love these clothes. If you get some 2X of these clothes, I, I might buy them from you if you let me know. So I knew these would sell fast because 4th of July is coming. This is a Simply Southern red, white, and blue. There is the logo to watch for. I paid $5 for this at the thrift store. It sold in under a week for $15. So it's going to be about an $8 profit. The thrift store that I got it from actually only charges a dollar for most clothing. But because 4th of July is coming up, they charge $5 for holiday clothing. So I did have to pay a little bit more, but it sold really, really fast. Simply Southern is a brand. I will pay up to $5 for a t-shirt because I know they sell very, very quickly. And then this little magnet was in a $3 bag at the garage sale I went to a couple weeks ago. It sold for $19.49. This is Madonna of Montserrat. And I found that out by Google Lens. And it is just a little magnet. 20 bucks. I am less than a quarter in. So this is about a $15 profit after fees. The buyer did pay five in shipping. This is a candy dish. This one is lead crystal. You can see the sticker on the inside. I actually got this for less than a dollar. It sold for 15, so it's gonna be about a $12 profit, and it sold in about three months. This Harley pen is really, really cool. This is a bat wing with the skull there. It does say Harley Davidson, and this one sold for $22.74, making it about an $18 profit, and it sold in under a month. Buyer did pay five in shipping and then another license plate this one is cool it says sub this one is 1952 new york and this one sold for 17 making it about a 10 dollar profit it was in the higher lot of license plates so i do have my daughter listing the ones that i paid five each for before she lists the ones i paid 33 cents for because i'm hoping they're higher dollar license plates in that lot and I want to get my 600 bucks back so those will be listed before the ones on the rack that I paid only 33 cents for. X is a blue quartz chip necklace so if you don't know that is what they call these this is a very very light blue it's kind of hard to see there but this one sold for $8.50 that did take a year to sell I am less than a dollar in so it's about a five dollar profit buyer paid five but when I buy jewelry lots there's going to be some that sells fast and there's going to be some that takes quite a while to sell because jewelry is definitely a very very saturated category so you do need to take that in mind when you are listing things that there are a lot of on eBay it might take a little bit longer to sell this is a VHS so I actually got this one for a quarter it is 1986 Mets a year to remember it is sealed paid a quarter and this one sold for $32.49 making it about a $28 profit the buyer did pay $3.19 in shipping because that will ship media mail so if you don't know media mail is used for like VHS's books but you cannot use it for magazines and comics because they have advertisements. So that is the rule as far as media mail. If it has advertising in it, it cannot ship media mail. And then last on eBay is this tax coat sterling silver and brass cuff bracelet. This one was 
branded right here. That's how I knew it was Taxco. This one I paid five for. It sold in about five or six months for $45.99. So it is about a $30 profit. And it did take a little bit longer. I bought a bunch of cuff bracelets in a lot. So you do see the, the lots coming up over and over again because that is how I like to buy. And I think I have one cuff bracelet left. So almost all of them have sold in about six months. That wraps it up for eBay. And now I'm going to show you what sold on the other platforms. Again, if you don't know, I do use List Perfectly to cross post. If you want to try it out for cross posting, I have a coupon code, the Nurse Flipper, all one word, if you would like to try it out for a month with a discount. Up first is a Poshmark sale, and it was two hankies. Really, really pretty pink with the yellow roses here and this pink and purple floral. These two sold on Poshmark for $35. I am less than a dollar in. They are going to be about a $25 profit. And then another hanky on Poshmark. This is an Oregon hanky. So these are Ranshaw. Normally there is a paper tag here. This one does not have it. I paid $5 for this at Renninger's because I know that the state map Hankies by Ranshaw will sell for at least $20 typically. So I will pay up to $5 for these if I find them. Originally, I found a lot of them for a dollar each on Hybit, but now I know to look for them when I am outsourcing. So this one's gonna be about a $10 profit and it's sold in about two months. Okay, big, big Etsy sale. This tie, which is Hermes, Hermes Paris sold for $69 over on Etsy and I had it listed at $55 on eBay. It is just a plain little paisley and it sold in about three months. So after Etsy fees it'll be about a $50 profit. I did not pay much for that Hermes tie. And then this beautiful bracelet here is actually 112 12 karat gold fill this one sold on facebook for 35 dollars and that one did take about six months to sell it was actually in the same bracelet lot of the one i showed you earlier so i paid five dollars it's going to be about a 25 dollar profit and we have a bunch of harley pens that sold on facebook this little itty bitty harley davidson one sold for ten dollars and then i sold this hand towel on Facebook for seven dollars. I paid 50 cents for this. It's just a little kitchen towel. So I love my linens because they're so easy to list and ship. And this Harley, this is one pen or one one wing out of the side. This one sold for ten dollars as well. So it is going to be about an eight dollar profit. Facebook has the least amount of fees coming in at only five percent. And then on Facebook as well, I sold this women's Harley Davidson Crystal River Florida shirt and I I'm actually going to Crystal River today so I'm going to tell you really really quick I did talk about this a little bit on my live sale with Yvonne Thrifty Rich but we have joined Freedom Boat Club so I am excited because today is our on water training and then we will be able to reserve boats as often as we want they have tons of different kinds of boats we will go it will be waiting on the dock we will go out and go fishing or swimming or do whatever we want. Come back in, get off the boat. They clean it and do everything. So I'm really, really excited for that. And here in Florida, we do have scalloping season coming soon. And I believe I am going to make a boating slash fishing YouTube channel. So you'll have to watch out for that. I will give you information on that as it comes along. So that women's Harley shirt sold for 14. I paid a dollar to garage sale two weeks ago. It is gonna be about a $10 profit. And up last is this beautiful Capa di Monte rose. It is marked there on the back. And this one sold for 18 on Facebook. I paid about five. It's gonna be about a $10 profit. So that is everything that is going out today. I want to point out a couple of things before I let you go. One is you can see the variety. I sell a ton of different things. This video is a great example of how much variety I sell. I think having that variety is key for me to get consistent sales. And the second thing is that 
most of these items were from lots that I bought on Hybid. I am not a big thrifter. I do some thrift with me videos and I will occasionally go out thrifting. That is more therapeutic for me versus being business. It of course is sourcing for my business, but with the amount of sales that I wanna get, which is between 15 and $20,000 a month, I could not source enough at the thrift stores near me to sustain the sales that I'm wanting. So for me, it's really important to go on to high bid. I go to estate sale auctions and I buy a bunch of box lots where I can get these massive quantities of items for low cost, like the license plates, 2000 of them for $1,000. The Harley pens, 650 of them for $600. That gives me a bulk amount of inventory that I have and it helps me to maintain my profit that I want. We are at about 17 or $18,000 for the last 30 days, which is pretty good. I am going to do a video on Wednesday for you with all high dollar. I actually haven't done it in six weeks. I was doing them every two weeks. I was trying to do it every month. It has been six weeks and I didn't realize it because I've been doing a lot of research videos, but I definitely want to show you my high dollar what sold from the last six weeks. So keep an eye out for that on Wednesday. And then tomorrow night, I am super excited. We will have both CEOs from List Perfectly on as our guests. Both of them are extremely knowledgeable. Before starting List Perfectly, they were selling over $500,000 a year as resellers. So I'm happy to have both Clara and Amanda on as our two guests along with Julian. We will be live tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. So if you have questions about reselling, it's a great time to come in. There are a bunch of other resellers in the chat that might be able to help you and we answer as many questions live as we can in our two hour segment. I really do appreciate you watching so long. I'm excited to go boating today. Hopefully I'll pass so I can reserve a boat for Brad's birthday, which is on Thursday. That is what made me finally take the leap to join the boat club. And hopefully you'll see some videos soon of boating and fishing and I don't know what else. So I will see you guys on Wednesday with the high dollar what sold. And I'll also see you tomorrow night on my live show at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, have a great day and I hope you make a lot of sales.